Today I want to talk about Bitcoin and risk. And that risk is, the kind of risk I want to talk about is your personal risk, okay? Because there's a thousand videos out there about whether or not Bitcoin is going to go up or going to go down. And a lot of smart, intelligent, good good investors and good traders out there, some are saying it's going to go up and some are saying it's going to go down. And to me, that means that, you know, the picture is just really murky at this point. I mean, uh, even if you're even if you're long term bullish, uh, you might not necessarily know if it's going to go down a lot first before it goes up or, you know, some people think it's going up from from here. Um, so so that's very murky at this point in the markets. Now, when we look back, maybe f from the future, we'll see this and go, oh, what were we worried about? It just went straight up. Uh, I don't know what 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 the problem was. Right. Or or. Uh, or it went down, and everyone was like, see, I knew, yeah, that uh, was a clear sign. It went back, it was going to go down. But things aren't so clear right now. And you can see that reflected in the crypto community with a lot of uh, uh, differing opinions. All right. So, one thing that we can make clear at this point is assessing your own personal risk profile. Okay. People assess risk in the markets all the time and in the charts, but I don't see a lot of people, I don't see anybody, frankly, talking about how to assess your own personal risk, okay? And just to, to make it kind of basic and easy and clear here, I mean, if you bought it here um, and it has come down to here, um, I mean, e even this has two different ways of looking at it because if you just put a little bit of extra money in at the top and it has come down you're like oh well that sucks but yeah whatever right but if you if everyone told you bitcoin's going up it's going up and you put your rent money in at the top and now it's down and now you can't pay your rent that you were expecting to to take out a week later with all your profits um well now your personal risk profile is completely different right or if somebody bought um and they put a, a, the rent money in down here at the bottom and it's gone here. And even though it has retraced, uh, they're still fine, right? So time is a huge factor, timing, um, your own personal risk. Like, for example, a person who makes $100,000 a year, they put $1,000 in here and it goes, it goes down to here. They're like, well, that sucks, but well, whatever. We'll see what happens. But someone who's making $50,000 a year puts um ten thousand dollars in here and it goes down and now they're chewing their finger fingernails off all night long right so clearly i mean this goes without saying you know you want to buy when the markets are quiet i wouldn't even say low because you know duh buy low and sell high yes okay but um typically um, well, especially in bitcoin other markets can vary quite a bit but in cryptos um because they are somewhat cyclical and they definitely have their periods of activity and inactivity you, you want to buy it when it's quiet because um you know if it goes if it goes down from there uh it's it's kind of easy to tell what's going on um or if uh and and you don't have to give it so much room to go down uh if you if you decide you want to take that money out um, you know, if you start if you start putting in money after it's gone up, obviously, yeah, you can get yourself in a tough spot. And the way that I like to think about it, if you've ever played pool or uh, billiards, um, you know, you have the white ball and you try to make the white ball hit other balls to go into into the pocket. But it's not just hitting that ball into the pocket. You have to consider where you're going to leave that white ball after that shot to leave yourself with another good shot, another follow-up shot after that. So you want to think ahead a little bit. So if you're jumping in the if you're jumping in the markets here, you know, where are you leaving that white ball? If you're putting all your money in here and it's and it's a lot for you, well, that you're putting yourself in a really tough spot. Um and people can get kind of greedy and and go, oh my gosh, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, it's called FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. So, 
they're they're thinking to themselves, oh my God, it's going to go and I'm going to miss out and I got to get in now. And if I don't put all my money in now, then I won't make as much money as I would have. So I'm going to put it all in now. And, and just in terms of risk and that pool analogy of where you're leaving yourself in case it does come down um, is very, very tough spot. So it's better to uh, there's a term called dollar cost averaging. So if you're just if you're just putting in a com comfortable amount of money every so often, you're averaging the price that you're getting in. Now, yes, of course, it would have been better to put all that money in at the bottom if you could tell the future. And if you can tell the future, let me know because I will take your advice. But we don't know the future, so it's it lowers your risk to spread that money out and kind of see how things are going even up here at the top all right if if you put in five dollars or whatever is comfortable for you a hundred dollars a thousand dollars or maybe maybe you can afford to lose ten thousand dollars without blinking and you put it in at the top well you know it's not great it's not fun for it to go down but you're still going to be okay you're still going to be able to lose your uh, to, to pay your rent or your mortgage or whatever right um, but if you, if you put in like way more money than, I, I mean, even here, right? Even here or even here, if you're putting in too much money for your personal financial situation, then you're putting yourself in, in a tough spot because now you don't know what to do, right? So, so even though the charts might not be clear, um, managing risk should always be clear. And I, I really, again, I don't see enough crypto YouTubers discussing this issue. It's something that um, people really should consider uh, before they put money in the market. And while they're putting money in the market, where are you leaving yourself in case of a big downturn? And yes, big downturns can always happen. Now, when we were back here, you know, it's easy for for people to say, oh, it's it's it's, it's going to go up. It's going to go up. Look, it just always goes up. Um, it doesn't. I mean, there's some there's some some big, um, big drops. And even if this one turns out to not be a big deal and it goes up from here, um, there are people who are selling in this area because their risk is too high. You don't want to be forced out of your position because you got squeezed because you took too much risk um okay let me change all that i'm not giving you personally financial advice i'm talking about a general person not you specifically i'm not your financial advisor but um, obviously some people took huge risks here maybe they did overextend themselves put all their their mortgage and their rent and um, they made some nice profits fine um, that's not how i would choose to do things i just think that people need to consider their own personal risk profile um, along with you know looking at charts or being told whether or not it's going to go up or down because whether it's going to go up or not down is great but when is the question and will it squeeze you out of your position before then because you took too much risk and you need that money all right so that's all i have for you today i hope you found value in this if you did please uh, give it a like and if you want to catch future videos and get notified of them uh, please consider subscribing and i'll see you next time